how you guys welcome back to my channel uh, and as you can see I am in our master bedroom and I am going to be doing some wall treatment to this wall here uh, most of you guys know that I did a makeover on my bedroom last year and neglected to finish this one last wall so I am finally tackling it uh, as you can see it's pretty big and definitely in need of some TLC so I decided that I wanted to do wainscoting on this wall I feel like it will elevate this space in my room uh, so you guys stay tuned and make sure you give this video a thumbs up So because our ceilings are really high, which makes our wall super long, I, I decided to break the wall up by installing a chair rail. This chair rail I purchased from Lowe's and I only needed two of them. Uh, because the wall is so long, our wall is 16 feet long, I am going to have to put two chair rails together. Uh, so as you can see I have my modder saw and I am just going to first cut a 45 degree angle on my first piece of trim. So I like to start by holding the trim on the wall by nailing it as you can see in the center. So I just got my brad nailer and shot one nail into it so that I can make sure it is leveled all the way down. Uh, sorry you guys my nail gun was in the way there uh, but on the other side I am just using my leveler uh, just to get it nice and centered uh, and then once I have it where I want it to be then I go ahead and shoot in another nail and so forth so on. So now that I have the first piece of chair rail already installed, I can start on the second piece. So I'm just cutting another um, miter cut, 45 degree angle cut, going the opposite direction, and I will then connect the two together. as you can see my second piece just slides right underneath I am going to make sure all of the pieces together are leveled and then I will nail those into place So just by installing that chair rail, you can already see how it is breaking up the wall. Now that I have that installed, it is time to start working on the wainscoting. So the trim that I decided to use is Poplar Trim, Poplar Picture Frame Trim that I also got from Lowe's, you guys. It was $9 um, per piece. Uh, and you guys, I believe I used a 13 strips for my entire wall. Uh, and you guys, doing this trim is actually pretty easy. If you have a miter saw such as this, set the base of your blade to 45 degree angles such as I have mine here. And once you measure how long you want your uh, picture boxes to be, you cut accordingly. So I have a pencil marking right on the trim that I marked where I want to make my cut. And once I have one cut done, I will make all of my additional cuts identical. So if you are wanting to do a project similar to this in nature, 
uh, I definitely suggest using frog tape. As you can see, I pre-cut all of my pieces here and I have frog tape actually holding them in place. This way I can just double check how I am wanting this to look on my wall before I actually nail them into place. Because our TV was already mounted, I thought best to first frame around my TV and then I would adjust accordingly on each side. Using a leveler just helps to make sure that your lines are perfectly straight so that when you're installing these pieces of trim, nothing looks crooked or slanted. So my first box is up, my first trim is up, and again, you guys, I decided to do around the TV first. And now I have my extra pieces of trim waiting to be installed next. Uh, you guys, really, really helpful tip uh, for if you are wanting to do this install. You guys, I actually pre-cut a piece of spare wood that I had left over in the garage. That's that white block that you see me balancing there. Uh, I find it super easy that if I pre-cut this piece of wood, instead of having my leveler, I can just drag that piece of wood all the way down. This just assures me that I am getting parallel lines between all of my picture frames. So I knocked out the top half of the wall first, but I'm also going to do the bottom half of the wall. Uh, I want to give you guys a more detailed or show you an up close of what this install looks like. So I have here my camera set at me doing these little smaller boxes below. Uh, this is just going to be the whole entire process for you. Some luck in the back. I don't give a what someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moon. So you guys, also as a pro tip, so to speak, uh, when installing trim on your wall, as you can see, you guys, I have been using my Brad Neller here. These pieces of a trim are really light, so you don't have to do any substantial screwing or nailing into place for projects like this. Uh, so it's definitely nifty to have a Brad Neller and mine's Partic my particular one is cordless as you can see so I'm able to just use it as I move and you guys that is it for this install I did paint the trim the exact same color of the wall in my homes and I absolutely am in love with the way this turned out this was a super inexpensive project that has elevated my space in this room so much, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found so much needed inspiration. Make sure you are subscribed and leave a comment below, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Also, you guys, almost forgot to add uh, if you are inquiring about any of the products that I use, including this cute little vanity desk that I did decide to add to my bedroom, 
look in the description below and it will be linked there for you